Happy Friday nights. I'm Nola Pickering. And I'm Iman Hussein. And we welcome you back to another episode of Night View. Over the three-day weekend, Atlanta and parts of Georgia got to enjoy a day of winter weather. There was some snow, rain, and a little bit of ice all day on Sunday. Students sent in their best videos and pictures of the winter wonderland to remember this rare event in Georgia. No, no worries. Oh, we're trying. We're trying to make something of it. Attention juniors and seniors. The prom theme results are finally in. The 2022 prom theme is Casino Night and will be held at the Georgia Tech Hotel. Stay tuned for more information on tickets and details in our upcoming episodes. Attention all freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Round two of course requests for the 2022-2023 school year has begun. The request link will be live until 11.59 p.m. on Saturday, January 22nd, 2022. Make sure you work with your parent or guardian to complete this process. Mr. Vincent has sent out a comprehensive guide to course requests. So for more direction, check your email and check the email of your parents or guardians. Choose your courses with Care Nights. With the increasing prevalence of the new variant, the pandemic is still in full swing. Let's see how Midtown feels about continued COVID concerns and the return to school. With the rise of COVID cases, APS went virtual after the following week of winter break. After the holidays, we had more exposure to COVID and positive cases than the whole first semester. Um, it is concerning. As I said, we've had more cases in about six days than we had the whole semester that were reported. Virtual week may have been nostalgic, but how do students and faculty members feel about coming back to school? I wish it was longer. I think that we should have had a virtual month. Well, last week was a little bit of a disappointment, the virtual, but I'm really glad to be back. I think we just we need to keep going on the forward momentum. A come back to school is somewhat of a good thing, but you know, with that virtual week, it has some people lost, like including myself. I feel good about coming back to school because I get to be on campus again and see my friends. I'm excited to be back in school. I don't like I don't like virtual school. I feel good about coming back to school. Even though we are back at school, we need to continue to take all the precautions needed to be safe. Here's some advice from the nurse. I would encourage number one to get vaccinated. Number two, to wear your mask and wear it properly. Cover your mouth and your nose. And number three, to keep your distance. It's highly suggested to sign up to get tested with your parents kit set. Use the QR code to access the form. It is critical that students and staff always wear masks while inside any school buildings. Masks can be removed outside, but a three foot minimum physical distance is still required. Masks only come off while eating or drinking, during which the minimum physical distance increases to six feet. There is no eating or drinking in classrooms, hallways, or the media center. COVID exposure guidelines have changed since last semester. Please be aware that if you have been exposed to a COVID positive individual, but are fully vaccinated and are showing no symptoms, then you do not have to quarantine, though you should consistently wear a mask for 10 days. If you are not fully vaccinated, then you do have to quarantine for five calendar days from the date of exposure. Always complete the student self-report for either situation and monitor symptoms in all cases. The Midtown Musical Theater Department is proud to present their winter musical Sister Act, a comedy about a lounge singer forced to join a convent after she is placed in a witness protection program. You can see Sister Act from Thursday, January 20th through Saturday, January 22nd. Shows will be at 7 p.m. on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, along with the Saturday matinee at 2 p.m. Tickets must be purchased beforehand, so scan the QR code shown on the screen to buy them now. In addition, if you would like to support the cast and crew's hard work, you can donate money to pay for meals during the rehearsal and show days. Come out and support a musical theater at Midtown. Midtown High School hosted its annual science fair on January 12th. Congratulations to third place winners Shawin Batia and Eamon Walsh with their project, Which Sports Drink is Best for Athletic Performance? Second place winner Sophia Vampala with her project, Studying Sexism with Sesame Street. And especially to first place winners Pablo Vampala, Rowan Reddy, and Oscar Strachan with their project, Using Machine Learning to Predict the Migration Path of Birds. Congratulations also to those who received honorable mentions. These students and their projects will move on to the Regional Science Fair on February 3rd. Midtown is proud of their scientists. Seniors, the deadline to turn in your community service hours is April 1st. Let's go to Lila Bransford with more opportunity on community service. Hey Knights, I'm Lila Bransford and I'm your community service communicator. The National Honor Society is collecting new sealed personal hygiene items for their spring personal hygiene drive. Donate items like toothpaste, soap, sanitizer, lotion, and other hygiene necessities. 
Each item is worth one hour of community service and should be brought to room A303 or the Media Center by February 11th. Thank you for supporting the NHS and people in need this winter. Do you have old testing books that you just don't need anymore? The Midtown Math Club is hosting a book drive for new and used study books for AP courses, SAT, and ACT testing. Each book is worth three hours of community service. Drop off books to Ms. Robinson in room C405. Donate today to help out a fellow knight. Finally, Midtown's Math Center is looking for tutors. Sign up for a shift as a math tutor on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays between 4 and 5 p.m. at Midtown's Math Center in room C304. One hour of tutoring will earn you two hours of community service. Scan the shown QR code to sign up for a shift. And remember, if you need help on your math homework, the Math Center is open to you for assistance on the given weekdays. Thanks for tuning in and keep getting those hours nights. Parents and students are invited to attend the virtual Rising Nights meeting on January 20th, hosted from 6.30 to 8 p.m. on the Midtown YouTube channel. Additionally, as a students-only event, Rising Nights are scheduled to make an in-person visit to Midtown on Thursday, February 3rd, from 9.45 a.m. to 11.55 a.m. We're excited to welcome a new generation of Knights. The art department is requesting cereal and other product boxes for artistic reuse. However, they ask that regular cardboard boxes not to be donated. Please bring donations to room E115. Thanks for supporting art at Midtown. The Midtown Athletic Department is accepting applications of students interested in working with the department or their individual teams. Roles and duties include everything from team manager and student trainer to media assistant and game operations intern. These positions are unpaid, but promise students the opportunity to enter a supportive team setting, gain valuable work experience, and earn community service hours. If you're interested, scan the shown QR code and fill out the form online. A coach will be in contact with you soon with more details. It's been a long, short week nights, and we're ready for the weekend. Let's go to Nisha Ball with your weekend weather report. Hello, Midtown Knights. I'm Nisha Ball, and I'm here with your weekend weather report. According to the Weather Channel, on Saturday we'll see a high of 45 degrees and a low of 24 degrees, and on Sunday we'll see a high of 48 degrees and a low of 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Expect cloudy skies and a little bit of sun all weekend. Hi, I'm Simon Taylor, and welcome to Sports Splash Episode 6. For the past several weeks, Trials for Midtown Spring Sports have been roaring into action. This includes sports like tennis, ultimate frisbee, baseball, and soccer, and we look forward to seeing them in action soon. Midtown Basketball enjoyed an undefeated weekend Friday, January 14th to Saturday, January 15th, winning all four of the games its girls and boys teams competed in. The varsity girls team started things off with a 66-22 victory over Region 6A opponent North Springs followed by a 66-47 win for the varsity boys over the Spartans. The freshman boys team continued the winning Saturday morning with a 47-22 win over South Atlanta at Washington, and the JV girls team will win the fourth game of the weekend 50-12 at home versus Mays. Both varsity teams will compete next at Villa Ricker on Friday, January 21st, and at home against Lithia Springs on Saturday, January 22nd, at New Manchester High School on Tuesday, January 25th. Boys and girls JV will compete next at home against South Atlanta High School on Saturday, January 22nd, Make sure to check the Midtown Athletics website for more information. Thanks for tuning into Sports Splash this week. We look forward to seeing you next episode. Go Knights! Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Night View. You can find us on the Night View channel on YouTube, so subscribe to keep up with new episodes or revisit the ones you missed. Stay safe, have a great weekend.